A woman found dead shot a number of times. And the killer tried to get rid of the body by covering it with a powerful chemical, hoping to dissolve it quickly. To this day, nearly 35 years after the crime, investigators are still searching for the killer and they have no idea who the victim is. On the 18th of April, 1980, fishermen discovered the body of a lady on the bank of the North Canadian River. The body had been coated with a type of lime which preserved her. At the time, police thought the Jane Doe would be identified, but 39 years later, she is still nameless. My name is Kurt, and today we are going through the Lime Lady case. Let's begin. The police provided the nickname Lime Lady to the Jane Doe as the murderer poured lime over the body to try to quicken decomposition. In reality, the killer poured a type of lime which preserved and mummified the body along with the evidence. Her estimated date of death was 10 days to a month prior of being discovered. The Lime Lady had been discovered with no clothes, jewellery and no personal items, and it was quickly discovered how the Doe died. She had in fact been murdered. The Lime Lady had been shot three times with a 45 caliber revolver. It is believed that the victim was dressed at the time of her murder as a dime was hit by a bullet and driven into her body. The evidence indicates that the suspect who shot at her was running or walking towards her when the shots were fired. There were no indications that the doe had been sexually assaulted but it hasn't been fully ruled out. Because the killer accidentally preserved the body, DNA, fingerprints, and dentals were obtained. As of this video, no matches have been made. There was extensive dental work, but some of her teeth were out of alignment. The Lime Lady's estimated age is between 18 to 25 years old, and her race is white. The doe's height is 5 foot 6 inches, and her weight was 115 pounds. Her eye colour is currently unknown, and she had blonde to brown hair. The best clue to the Lime Lady's identity is a tattoo. A professional tattoo was discovered on her left breast. It was a heart. It measured one centimeter. The doe had no fractures, but had a lower abdominal scar measuring four centimeters by one centimeter. There are currently six theories on who and what happened to the Lime Lady. Here are the most popular theories I could find which are expressed online. She may have been a runaway and not reported missing. She might have been a victim of a drive-by shooting. She might have previously been in a foster care system. She may have been from a middle class background. She might have been killed by a local biker gang. And she might have been killed by a local from the area. In this case, there have been multiple people who have been ruled out as being the Lime Lady. I'm going to be telling you all the exclusions I could find right now. Alma Root from California disappeared at age 14 in the year 1965. Alma was ruled out as being the Lime Lady and as of this video, Alma remains missing. Rose Cole from California disappeared in 1973 at age 16 years old. With her dentals and DNA available, she was ruled out as being the Lime Lady. She still remains missing as of this video. Mary Florence at age 14 disappeared from Norwalk in 1976. Police ruled Mary out as being the Lime Lady, and right now Mary is still missing. At age 14, Tina Kemp disappeared in 1979 in Delaware. Police suspected that Tina might have been the Lime Lady, but they were able to rule her out. Even though Tina had a history in running away from home, foul play is suspected in her case. As of this video, Tina is still missing. 
Amy Billings disappeared while hitchhiking in Florida at age 17. Twins claimed they had kidnapped Amy and demanded $30,000. When police arrested the twins, it turned out they were lying. She was ruled out as being the Lime Lady by police, and she has remained missing to this day. Susan Hallowell went missing in 1980. She was 24 years old when she left to go to work. That was the last time she was seen. Susan was ruled out as being the Lime Lady, and since then Susan has not been found. Margaret Hayes from Indiana disappeared at age 22 in 1977. Her plan was to buy a pack of cigarettes at a local shop. She never returned home. Margaret was ruled out as being the Lime Lady, and as of this video, she still remains missing. Nancy Jasson from Bethesda, Maryland, disappeared in 1977. She was 18 years old. Nancy required medication for epilepsy, which she might have not been taking at the time of her disappearance. Nancy was eliminated as being a possibility for the identity of the Lime Lady, and as of this video, Nancy still remains missing. Paula Jaster went missing in 1979. At first, police thought that maybe she had been the Lime Lady, but in the following decades that was proven wrong. In 2014, police learnt that Paula was a victim of a hidden run in Houston, Texas, which ended her life. Because Paulette had no ID and she wasn't from the area, it took over 30 years to identify her. Because of this revelation, she was ruled out as the Lime Lady. Mary Anderson, aged 23, went missing in 1982. She had last been seen with her family. A year later, officers found the remains of a Jane Doe in a gravel pit. The Jane Doe was missing her skull and with that her teeth. Police would rule this as a homicide. Decades would pass, then in 2014, it was announced that the Jane Doe and Mary were the same person. Mary now has her identity back, but her killer is still a mystery. Because of this, Mary was ruled out as the Lime Lady. An unknown woman from Buttersfield, Missouri, was ruled out as being the Lime Lady. I couldn't find any information on this woman besides the source wiki.org. I thought I should still include it. Linda Davis went missing in 1976, aged 29 years old. Linda was last seen with an unknown male in a club in Oklahoma. After that, Linda was never heard from again. Her car was found abandoned a day later with her purse, driver's license and prescription medications inside. There was also a light covered coat covered in blood. It turns out that the same coat had 20 stab marks on it. There was more blood found in the car. Days later, one of Linda's shoes was found in a nearby bush. Even though there's clear foul play, her body has never been found. Police were able to rule Linda out as being the Lime Lady, but as of right now, Linda's case is still unsolved. Teresa Cubs disappeared from Oklahoma at 20 years old. Teresa had been convicted of grand larceny in 1975 under a false identity. From a few reports, she had allegedly been using heroin and working as a prostitute at the time. Teresa stopped reporting to a parole officer in 1977 and a warrant was issued for her arrest. After 30 years, the state dropped the charges. In 2004, Teresa's mother died. That's when her sister filled out a missing persons report for Teresa. Police are still trying to find her, but all records of Teresa end in 1977. Teresa was ruled out as being the Lime Lady, but as of right now, her disappearance is still unsolved. A few people believe a missing woman named Stephanie could have been the Lime Lady. It was quickly ruled out since the Lime Lady was found in 1980 and Stephanie went missing in 1990, 10 years apart. Even though she was ruled out as the Lime Lady, Stephanie still remains missing. Lisa Borden disappeared in 1979 at age 19. She vanished in California. 
One of Lisa's friends told the family that Lisa had been working as a waitress in Texas, but the friend did not provide any further information and this event has not been confirmed. Lisa was a known hitchhiker in 1979 and police thought that she might have been taken against her will. Lisa was ruled out as the Lime Lady, but she is still missing. Christy Booth was 19 years old when she disappeared in Texas in 1980. Christy was last seen in a nightclub before she vanished. There isn't a lot of evidence or websites that cover Christy's case, but police ruled her out as the Lime Lady. Christy is still missing as of right now. Barbara was 18 years old in 1978 when she disappeared. An unknown male claimed that he had kidnapped and murdered her, even though her body was never found. If alive, Barbara might be using her nickname BJ, but she was ruled out as the Lime Lady. Barbara's case is currently unsolved. Now that I've gone through all the exclusions in the case, I'm going to be telling you the missing people who might be the Lime Lady. Just a reminder that the Jane Doe might not be in this list, and so far, it's all speculation. April Zane, at age 17, disappeared in 1977 from Frankfurt. She mentioned to family she was going to visit a friend, but they never heard from her again. April had a history in running away from home, but not for this long. April has not been ruled out as the Lime Lady, so there's a possibility they might be the same person. Margaret Holst was 18 years old when she vanished in 1977 in Nebraska. Margaret was on a date with a boy she had recently met. It was confirmed by the date that he dropped her off near her house. After that, Margaret was never heard from again. Mary Gregory was 19 years old when she disappeared in 1978. Mary and a male friend were traveling through Las Vegas. The male friend told authorities that he dropped Mary off at a bus station in Las Vegas exactly 10 days after the pair left Canada for their trip. Mary was never heard from again. There is a chance Mary and the Lime Lady are one in the same since the tests have not been done. Cindy Brown was marked as a possibility for the Lime Lady's identity, but I don't believe so. The Lime Lady was discovered on the 18th of April, 1980, while Cindy's last contact was on the 29th of July, 1980, almost three months apart from each other, which means that Cindy is most likely not the Lime Lady. Corrine Hagler was also marked down as a possibility for the Lime Lady's identity, but we've run into the same issue as the past theory. The Lime Lady was found in April while Corrine's last contact was on the 1st of October, six months apart from each other. The chances of Corrine being the Lime Lady is unlikely. For 39 years, the Lime Lady Jane Doe has remained unidentified. Her killer wanted to make sure no one would ever see her again, but accidentally gave this case one of the most interesting pieces of evidence. From how this case is going, there is a chance the Lime Lady will be identified, but as of right now, that is not the situation. But hopefully, one day, the Lime Lady, Jane Doe, will reclaim her name. Good night. If you have any thoughts about this case, please tell me in the comments below. Consider sharing so more people can hear about this, and also consider subscribing so you're notified when I upload next. Links to all the sources I use can be found in the description with my social media. Having said that, I will see you in the next video. Day after day I will walk And I will play